Well, a newly hired Illinois art teacher has now been fired after parents allegedly found, well, quite a few posts on the teacher's social media accounts referencing Satan. What exactly did they say? What's the reaction been? We'll talk about it in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, it's kind of my only option, isn't it? So let's talk about this teacher. Uh, the teacher's name apparently is Chris Martin. And Chris Martin was recently hired by an Illinois school district um, in a district that's uh, a little ways, a little bit uh, ways from Chicago, not too far. But, you know, upon this hire, parents, and good for them, they were very quick to go to social media because, look, <laughs> you can't trust the school boards. You can't trust, you know, their hiring process, their background check. So, you know, good for the parents. You know what? We're, we're going to go and see. Here's a list of our kids' teachers, and we're going to go up there and look on social media and see what they're really all about. And thank God they did this because what they found by this teacher quite disturbing. Yes, I'm talking about images and references to Satan. Um, this is an art teacher. Uh, and the way that the school has reacted, I'm actually kind of surprised. But at the same time, I think I know why they did this. But I, I don't know if this is the end quite yet when it comes to this. But I'm going to tell you what the post said and all that in just a second. Really quick, let me mention to you guys my ministry. Can you help contribute to support me here monetarily? Now, I say this because, you know, my channel is incredibly suppressed. You know, the algorithms don't like me. They don't do me any favors. And YT is never going to let this channel go above a certain, you know, plateau. It's not going to happen. Yes, my sub count says over 12,400. But guys, look at my views. They're terrible, okay? I mean, these videos can barely crack 100 views on an average. Um, and again, that doesn't make sense for a channel with as many subs as mine. You know, I've said before, I could change my channel name to Biden number one fan and it won't matter. Uh, I still won't get the views. I still won't get the interactions, the likes, all of that, because all they got to do in the background is just click a little button on certain channels they don't like, and they're going to suppress them. They're never going to let them succeed. Um, and so, you know, the only way that's going to happen is by you guys, you know, really letting your voices be heard to support me with the donation here and my ministry. Now, you could do it a couple of different ways. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can throw me a tip with a one-time donation of any amount. Very easy to do from the main video page. Or join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. When you sign up to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You're also going to get the alerts for all the videos, which again, with a suppressed channel like mine, you're not going to get through YT. You can comment censorship free on all videos there and send me direct messages. So check it out. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So the teacher social media posts included uh, posts saying, Hail Satan. There was even some images of the teacher, you know, with a shirt that uh, said, Satan respects pronouns. Oh boy. Uh, but not only that, the teacher admitted, now these are posts that go between like 2018 and 2020. And one of them was very concerning because the teacher here in the post admitted that they suffer from a form of psychosis, you know, uh, bipolar, uh, some sort of a, a mania disorder, and and the teacher did things to himself or her. I mean, it's got the teacher has so many pronouns. I don't even know what it's going by to be honest. Uh, this is very concerning, and to put a person like this uh, as a teacher in charge of children. That was ridiculous. And the school board has faced a lot of backlash for this. And once the images and all the posts were sent by the parents of the school board, well, they held an emergency meeting on Sunday, August 20th, uh, and they went ahead and decided to fire the teacher. Now, that's great. Again, they should. But look, Illinois, I know, is a state that has also hosted after-school Satan clubs. So it doesn't really make sense to me that you know, you would dismiss the teacher, but yet keep your after-school... Now, I don't know if there's an after-school Satan club at this particular school where the teacher worked, but still, uh, I know there are clubs at Illinois schools. So so now Satan's bad? I mean, I just, you know, again, I am glad the teacher's gone, uh, but, you know, we need to come to one, you know, decisive decision here when it comes to who Satan is, which is pure evil and should be nothing promoted in a club after school or a teacher social media post. None of that. But yet here we are. 
So, and the other reason that I think that the school went ahead and fired the teacher is because, look, they know within their curriculum that they're still teaching all the rainbow stuff and all the other indoctrination. So they can get rid of one teacher. Is it really going to make a big difference, you know, when it comes to the curriculum and what they're teaching these kids? I mean, Illinois uh, is one of those states that has some of the most, you know, progressive, left-leaning indoctrination type curriculums out there today. So we'll see where it all goes from here, but good that the teacher is gone. Um, that's all I got for you guys right now. You can say more in the comments if you'd like. Uh, I will put the link in the description if you want to check out some of those images and stuff from the teacher social media posts. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Yes, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines to keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Now, for anybody who has not yet received Jesus as their Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner, which is something that we all are. Now, the good news is that God gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do, your role, is to repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information down below. You guys can let me know what you think. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news link in the description. Remember signing up to Patreon to get exclusive early access to the videos before they hit the main YT platform or Hit the super thanks button down below in this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. All a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.